Hey guys, so today we're going to do a really cool makeup look and I'm really excited for how it turned out. So um, I'm just going to do a little bit of a voiceover today and let the video kind of do its thing. Um, two main things that you need for this look is a dark maroon and a bright pink. That's all I, and a white eyeliner. That is definitely necessary or a white cream paint or a white water based paint, whatever. So right now I'm blocking out my eyebrow. Um, I did this in, I think, my last video, and my last makeup video, at least. So, blacking on my eyebrow, and then what I'm going to do is um, start with some eyeshadow. I start with a, a very light base, which you will see. It's called Tact, but it's just a very light color. Putting that all over the eye and on um, part of the other eye. And then I'm going to take this color called, I think it's called Realistic, and it's just a very dark maroon color, and I'm putting that in the crease of my left eye. And I'm blending that out. Then I'm taking this really bright pink, it's actually um, from the Electric Palette, I don't remember what it's called, and I'm putting that in a circle like where my eye socket would be, all the way around on my right eye. I then use some um, translucent powder and pack that onto my eyebrow and take some concealer and put that on top of the eyebrow as well and I will get back to that after when I start doing my whole base. Then I'm taking that dark red shadow realistic and putting that all around the eye on my right eye. Then I'm taking a black and I'm putting that closest to the eyeball on my right eye and I do put a little bit of this in the crease of my left. And now I'm putting some of that bright pink shadow on my right lid. Nope, my left lid, not my right. <laughs> I then take the colors that I just used on my eye and blend them underneath the left eye. Then I'll be taking a shimmery color and putting that in the corner of my left eye. And that's the only time I use that color. The whole rest of this look is going to literally just use that light pink, or that bright pink and that dark red. So now I'm doing my foundation. This is just my normal routine, at least that on half of my face, and then the other half is going to be, if you haven't figured it out, it's a skull look. I'm putting some red on my um, eyebrow to try to tone down the darkness, and then I will put some more concealer over top of it, and it helps conceal it. <laughs> doing my eyebrow in black just doing I just use some eyeshadow for it using my master conceal concealer putting that under my left eye on my forehead down my nose on the other eyebrow and on my chin Taking my translucent powder, put packing that all over my face, just to set my foundation. My eyebrow got flaky. Blending out my eye. Then I'm taking this white eyeliner that I found and I'm lining my left eye. Now I'm using that dark red shadow to start um, chiseling out my jaw, cheek, whatever you want to call it, for the skull. And I go to a smaller and smaller brush. 
and then I go to a, fluff, a big fluffy brush and blend out some of that darkness with the light pink, or bright pink, whatever you want to call it. It's, it's pretty much a magenta. I'll also take that up into my hairline. Usually where you where I put my contour is where I did this, except that I stylized the jaw one a lot, and when I put this down on my neck, I blend it down. Then I put it down my nose. And I blend everything out with a fluffy brush. Then I start with um, a square ended um, eyeshadow brush and I start pulling out the teeth. And then I take a really, like, a detailed line brush, and I add the lines at the top of the teeth to make it, you know, look like the roots. And I use this, the dark red, and then after, I'll blend the bottom part of the tooth out with some of that bright pink. And if you don't make weird faces when you're doing makeup, there's something wrong with you. Not me. You. Yeah, sure. Then I take that white eyeliner and I just kind of start going ham on lines, mostly in between the teeth, making it look like roots, and then I start to draw down my, um, my cheek, and on my nose, and around my eye. It's, it's kind of a stylized look, so you can do whatever you want, so I'm just going to kind of let myself show you how I did it. It's nothing really fancy, just, you know, I just kind of threw lines wherever I felt like they needed to be there. I'm sorry I go out of frame a few times doing this. I gotta see what I'm doing though. I really enjoyed doing this look. I had a lot of fun and it's one of my, I don't know, I think my greatest ones that I've done in a long time. Um, I just think this is really cool and I've had this on my mind for a long time. Um, I even drew out some like references or whatever to see how I would do it and I really think it came out really good. Now I'm lining my eyes. And now I'm using a contour, a very dark contour shade. This is the shade that I usually use. I kind of want a little bit more with it on this look. And I rub it out with my hand. Don't yell at me. Put it down my nose. Just all my normal contour areas. I'm going to put some more white onto where my eyeliner was because it picked up a lot of the pink color. Mascara, always fun, and you'll never believe it, but I actually got eyelashes, so I end up putting fake eyelashes on. I just keep blending out the eye until I'm satisfied, and now I'm going in with just a very silver, silvery highlight shade. Forgot that I didn't do my cheek, and then I added the highlight 
my cheek after I did my blush. Now I'm taking a pink base lipstick using my eyeshadows to go over them to make them, you know, coherent or cohesive, not coherent. One of the C words. And here's what I'm putting on my eyelashes. And that's the look. So I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this look, this little tutorial. Um, I, I I like doing the voiceover better than I like talking while doing the actual video. I just, I don't know, I feel like I can talk more and I don't know. I just, I kind of like this more, but I really hope you guys enjoyed this look. I'm really happy with how it turned out. I really like the white lines and it being stylized the way it is. I might do a full face like this at one point, maybe with a different color. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know the next time that I upload. And I will talk to you all later. Bye!